and he doesn't like African people. Why did you allow not? Why did you not make him return those fire gun? He bought an AR-15 and a handgun. He bought one weapon in April and another in June. And you white people want me to believe that his parents had no idea that he was planning a mass shooting. How are we to believe his parents, his white racist Caucasian parents had no idea that he was planning a mass shooting? How is that possible? How is that possible? I believe his parents helped orchestrate the mass shooting in Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida, please stand up and unite. Jacksonville, Florida, please stand up and unite. Black Jacksonville, Florida, please stand up and unite. We need a black Florida movement. We need a black Florida movement. Trayvon Martin, one of the first publicized mass killings, excuse me, singular execution. Trayvon Martin's murder was in Florida. What about the sister a few months ago who was shot through the door by the white snow buddy and murdered? What about the sister in Florida? What about the mother in Florida who was shot through the door, a metal locked door by the white snow bunny and died? What about her? And now we got three Africans in Jacksonville. Don't get me wrong. Racism is alive and well in every state. We are at war. It just has not been declared because it is covert. We are at war. It has just not been declared because it is covert. We are at war. It has just not been declared because it is covert. But Florida, black Florida, and you have a racist governor who does not respect, respect black life. A racist governor that does not respect black life. Black Florida, you have to organize. All my militia groups in black Florida start training our sisters, training our brothers in firearms, start training them. Purchase your firearm. And if you are ex felon and you're not legally allowed to carry. Well, I don't have to tell you what to do. I don't have to tell you what to do. I don't have to tell you what to do. You know what? I think I need to host a mass gun training party. What do y'all think about that? Maybe I need to get with some of my brothers and sisters in the Fred Hampton Gun Club, the new Black Panther Party, other militias. I think we need to have a black gun training party. What do y'all think, brothers and sisters? What do y'all think, brothers and sisters? I think we need a mass gun training party because some of y'all walking around with the Bible in the Quran as your protection. And I'm not going to tell you not to. There may be some protection in your book, but I can guarantee you nothing is more effective than having that, that firearm in your pocketbook, on your waist, on your hip. We got to get serious. The, the U.S. government is not going to protect you. America does not care about black life. I think we know that. I think we know that. A handful of Asian women. A handful of Asian women in Atlanta. A handful of Asian women in Atlanta lose their life and they get an anti-Asian hate bill after a handful of shootings on a single night. They get an anti-Asian hate bill after a handful of shootings on a single night. A handful of transgenders are executed. A handful of rainbow militia members are executed and they get an anti-rainbow hate bill overnight. We got anti-immigrant hate bills. We got anti-immigrant hate bills and we still don't have an anti-black hate bill. Nobody gets murdered in America more than Africans. 
Nobody gets murdered and wounded in America more than Africans. So how do the Asians get a hate bill after a handful of murders? How do the Rainbow Militia get a hate bill after a handful of murders? How do some immigrants get a hate bill with hardly any murders in black people? The oldest victim of America, the longest running victim of America, and there still is no anti-hate bill, not the Emmett Till anti-lynching bill. That's for everybody. The Emmett Till anti-lynching bill is for everybody. The Emmett Till anti-lynching bill is so weak that it couldn't even arrest Carolyn Bryant, who is responsible for Emmett Till's execution. What good is the Emmett Till anti-lynching bill if it couldn't even be used to incarcerate the woman responsible for Emmett Till's lynching? That's not for black people. That's for everybody. Go and read the language. Go and read the language. Go and read the language. We need an anti-American African hate bill. Anti-American African hate bill. Where's the Congressional Black Caucus at? They've been suspiciously quiet lately. Where is the Congressional Black Caucus at? They've been suspiciously quiet lately. Where is the Congressional Black Caucus at? They've been suspiciously quiet lately. Now, this murder yesterday took place during the reenactment of Dr. King's 1963 March on Washington. So while Al Sharpton and Reverend King III were in D.C. talking much about nothing, while Al Sharpton and Reverend King III was reminiscing over Dr. King's 1963 March on Washington, this devil was executing Africans. Al Sharpton, have you called for mass resistance by American Africans against our collective genocide? Reverend King III, have you called for mass resistance by American Africans against our collective genocide? Or did you Negroes simply bring us there so the Democratic Party can regain black trust? I hope that rendition of Dr. King's march yesterday wasn't simply about bringing Africans to D.C. so the Democratic Party can recapture our vote. Because I don't think I heard a single criticism of President Joe Biden. Correct me if I'm wrong, African family. Correct me if I'm wrong, African family. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did anybody hear a single criticism of Joe Biden during the march yesterday? I don't think I heard a single criticism of the so-called leader of the free world. I haven't, if you gonna have a march about black people and you're not criticizing or holding Joe Biden accountable, the march was a fraud. If you're not criticizing and holding Vice President Kamala Harris accountable, the march was a fraud. If you are not criticizing and holding the Congressional Black Caucus accountable, the march was a fraud. But let me get back to Jacksonville, Florida for a minute. I digress. I digress. Let me get back to Jacksonville, Florida. I digress. Before I get back to Jacksonville, let me say this. If you have a black owned rifle range or gun training program, listen to me, African family. I'm serious. If you have a black owned black gun training program where you have the facility to train black people. You have a private gun range, public gun range. If you are a black gun trainer and you have range, I want to put together this fall. Listen to me, Africans. I want to put together a gun training tour. I'm going to go to about five, six states to five or six black gun training organizations or businesses. OK, I don't have time to create one. My mission is mental health and education. I'm building schools for black children. I can't do it all. Stop being a lazy Negro pen. Stop being a lazy Negro pen. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm going to get in touch with my brother from Philly, brother Taj, uh, my good brother with the uh, with the gun movement in Philly. I'm going to link with him. I'm going to link with him. 
He been hitting me up. I'm going to link with him, but I want, I'm going to link with my Fred Hampton Gun Club family. I'm going to link with my Fred Hampton Gun Club. I'm going to link with my Huey P. Newton Gun Club. I'm going to link with the new Black Panther Party. We're going to have Dr. Umar is going to have a gun training tour. I'm not doing the training. They're going to do the training. But I need to get black people out and about. And I think that if I'm there, y'all will come out. You know, do some barbecue, do some ancestral libations, start a little bonfire. Let's let's have a camp out. What, what do y'all think about that? We're going to have a gun training camp out, brothers and sisters. If you, Maj Ture, my good brother Maj, that's right. Thank you for the correct. He's in Philly. So I'm going to get with Maj. He's one, but he, we're going to deal with everybody. Who we got in Texas? Who we got in Texas that can train black people who have access to some private land for gun training? I really don't want to involve the Neanderthals in this. I really don't want to involve the Neanderthals in this. We need private black land where we can shoot and train. Self-defense. If you have that, if you have that, I'm not reaching out to Twister, but Twister can reach out to me. Celebrities don't get privileged with me. I am no respecter of celebrities. All Africans are equal. I am no respecter of celebrities. All Africans are equal. If Twister wants to reach out, so be it. But celebrities are not special. We are over with that shit. We are no longer treating celebrities like they are special. They are no different than anybody else. Are y'all feeling me today, brothers and sisters? Am I saying something wrong when I say celebrities are no longer being treated better than other black people? Are y'all with me on that? Are y'all with me on that? They don't get special privilege because they don't do nothing special for black people. Black celebrities no longer get special privilege because they don't do nothing special for black people. Celebrities no longer get special privilege because they don't do anything special for black people. Am I wrong, brothers and sisters? Am I wrong in saying that, brothers and sisters? So this is what I want to do. We need a gun training camp out in the Midwest. My, I'm only going to choose one. If you're interested, text my phone. Don't send me no inbox because I have too many Instagram messages. I'll never get to you in time. And I don't check Instagram on a regular basis. If it's a serious message, it needs to come by text or email. Facebook inboxes and Instagram inboxes are not considered serious inquiries to me. So don't send me no Instagram inbox. That's bullshit, okay? Social media is bullshit. If you want to talk to me, you send me a text message or email. Not no damn Facebook inbox, no Twitter, no Instagram. Grow the hell up and act like grown men and women. Grow the hell up and let's act like grown men and women, okay? So we need a gun training camp out in the Midwest. That could be Illinois, that could be Michigan, that could be Ohio, that could be Minneapolis, that could be Nebraska. Phone number 215, don't call text. Don't call text. I don't talk on the phone, I text. 215 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. Y'all should know my number if you're raising black children. You should know my number if you're raising black children. Missouri, it could be in Missouri. So we need one in the Midwest. We need one on the Northeast section. So we need one from Pennsylvania up to Rhode Island. We need one in the mid-Atlantic. So we're talking Pennsylvania.